Yo, what's up guys, Boss here, and I'm back in a YouTube video. This time we're gonna try to get 12 wins in this grand challenge using the best Golem deck in the game right now. So this is a very defensive Golem deck. You see the Ice Wizards in the deck. You have a ton of Splash, Dark Prince, Baby Drag, Mini Pekka, a lot of ways of defending, a bunch of different pushes. And then you have the Lightning, which is great against Eagleum decks, because most Eagleum decks have the E-Drag, which you can just Lightning. You get, lightning gets a lot of value against a lot of other things, like say someone has a Goblin Hut, Baby Drag, next to each other, you can Lightning all of that. And then you have a lot of answers to Real Hogs because you have a ton of Splash. Dark Prince, Baby Dragon, Ice Wiz, and of course the Tornado, which you can also use to activate King Tower against Royal Hogs, Hog Riders, Balloons, anything like that. So number two in the world is currently using this deck. He's hiding the deck on his profile, but that's what he got to number two in the world with. And Nicholas, who's actually on my friends list, is 16th in the world with the deck. I'll show you guys. And he actually got even higher with it this season, but he ended up dropping a little bit he lost a couple of games but i think he was top three if i'm not mistaken so two really high up players with the deck i'm doing pretty well in ladder myself this season i'm still using the royal hog deck hopefully um we don't tilt we have a good uh finish my best finish is sixth so this season ideally i want to go for a top five finish um i have a lot more time i've been able to play the game more and i feel like yeah i definitely think i could get a top five finish this season but that's that's gonna be my goal um but now we're playing a GC. We're going to try to get this 12 win. We're 9-1. and we're nine and one. Um, So we're going to see if we can uh, get it. We're going to uh, NATO here. Activate the King Tower. Really, really aggressive Firecracker. So yeah, very defensive Golem deck. You're not very often going to start with... Um, did I say not very often? Pretty much never. You're, you're pretty much never going to Golem first play. You're going to wait to Golem in most matchups until double Elixir. Or unless you're up a ton of Elixir. Now... I know Golem, a lot of people say, is very no skill. In my opinion, of all the Golem decks, this one is the one that takes the most skill, and you have to be really, really careful when you Golem, because with this kind of Golem deck, since you're going to have the Ice Wizard in the deck, and you don't have Night Witch, as you guys know, Night Witch is, a very, very, um, is very, very good in a lot of Golem decks, but the reason why this deck doesn't have the Night Witch and has the Ice Wizard instead is because it's more of a defensive Golem deck. Um, Night Witch is more of an offensive card. It's good on defense, but... With all the poison right now, Ice Wizard's actually better because, of course, poison kills Ice Wizard, but it just doesn't get as much um, value. So, because he actually used a ton of elixir, we are going to Golem in the back. And the reason, the only reason why I'm doing this is because look at how much elixir we're up right now. We were up a good three elixir, so I knew if we played a Golem in the back, it wasn't going to be like a bad play. It wasn't going to cost us. And just like that, we're going to be able to start hopefully up a good golem push. I mean, he might be able to defend it, but my hope is he has to use it, a lot of elixir to take it out at the very least. Um, but look at this nice tornado pulling everything together, allowing the golemite death damage to kill everything. And the baby dragon dark prince does end up connecting on his tower. And it looks like we will end up taking out his tower here. That was a really good golem because I identified that he was... Um, pretty much low on elixir because he used an earthquake that didn't get much value so i knew he was down three elixir after he went in for the earthquake and if he pressured with a hog rider or anything like that what i probably would have done is just ignored it and continued my golem push because at that point hog rider plus earthquake seven elixir so after he spent seven elixir there would have been pretty much no way he would have defended so pretty much no matter what he did that golem push would have been pretty successful after he went in for that earthquake so it looks like he's going opposite lane here, um, and he's going to go for a Firecracker as well. So once again, really, really aggressive on his end. So we're actually going to go for a, uh, a Golem. We still have a Tornado in rotation if he decides to um, go for a Hog Rider. So I actually don't think there's any way he takes our tower. We could even try to... Mm, yeah, actually, let's just go for the Three Crown. I think we get, definitely have the Three Crown here with the Baby Dragon that's about to lock on the King Tower. And even if it doesn't, Golem uh, pops on top of his tower... Golemites make it to the tower, and that's going to do it if the Golemite gets one more hit. Yeah, it's going to be GG. So, really nice win there. Um, obviously, he's not really happy there, but obviously, when you're using a like a cycle deck, I know this myself because I use on ladder a roll hog cycle deck that's relatively cheap. You can't really be making any mistakes like that. you got to be really careful with how you're using your cards, um, because if you make any sort of mistake wasting like three elixir, you're for sure going to get punished by... Any kind of beatdown deck like a golem, elixir golem deck, so you have to be really careful. Can't be wasting like earthquakes and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. Um, 
Uh, you know, guys, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to edit out the search time. I think I will because it actually took about... It, it took a minute and a half. I, I think I'll let it out the time. It just means that this video I'm going to get out today is going to be really late, but I think I think it's worth it. It's just a minute and a half is really, really long in terms of search time, so. Okay, so it looks like he's using a wall breaker deck. We don't know if he has bomb tower or goblin hut. We also don't know if he has mega knight yet. There's a couple different things that this could be, but... If he is using Mega Knight Wall Breakers, this matchup's going to be pretty good for us in Double Elixir. We just need to hold off and make sure he doesn't, um... Alright. We need to actually go for a Golem on defense. As crazy as it might sound, we didn't really have another option because if you saw the, um... The Mega Knight Mini Pekka with what, 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 you know, with anything, anything else we would have done, there's no way we would have defended that. So sometimes you do have to do things like that. Um, I mean, that was really well played on his part, like good pressure on his end. Um, yeah, so NATO on the minor, uh, like I, that was in the safe spot. I think I should have probably just NATO'd it back. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, that wasn't really the best NATO. Okay, we'll just Dark Prince... And if, as I said, if we can get into double elixir, I think we should have a pretty easy time. It's just single. This is where things are a little bit obnoxious for us because we can't really. Here's what we're going to do. We're definitely going to mini P.E.K.K.A. And then just we bar barrel and then, okay, we're in double elixir. Mega Knight goes back. That's really good. Exactly what I wanted there. So I wonder, can we get a golem down now? I don't know if it's safe. Um, okay, good thing I didn't, because he actually decided to apply pressure. So had I dropped a golem, we would have for sure lost our tower. And now we're going to go golem. Um, pretty safe time to do it, because he doesn't have his wall breakers in rotation, which are his best punish card, if that makes sense. So we need to go mini P.E.K.K.A. here. Really good answer to um, the Mega Knight. And... He should have a pretty easy time taking out our Golem. But luckily that Dark Prince is getting really good value there, splashing everything. We're going to NATO everything together. He's definitely going to drop a um, Mega Knight. But look at that Dark Prince shield at 1 HP. That's kind of clutch because that means that it's at, it was at full health um, when the Dark Prince... Uh, when it got spawned out of the Dark Prince. Whereas if it didn't have that shield on, Dark Prince would have pretty much lost most of its health so that could have potentially won us there that dark prince shield still being up so that was really 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 nice um and yeah just like that we're 11 and 1 but you can see guys um golem as easy of a deck as it might seem to sometimes when you guys i know a lot of you guys hate golem like when you lose to it you can see there's definitely a lot of um skill behind it you can't just especially with this golem deck you can't just be dropping golems in the back and single elixir um you know just Goodness. Um, okay, that, wow. Um, that, alright. That took me about 10 minutes to find, uh, the match. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> I think it took me a minute and a half to find the, um, the second game, but to find this match, it took me about, um, yeah, um, about 10 minutes. So, let's try to make the most of it. This does look like it's one of the reversing graveyard, which is actually probably the hardest matchup. Um, since you don't have a ton of answers to the uh, to the graveyard, but with that being said, um, you can definitely still win. You just need to be kind of passive. You don't really want to be playing any golems in single. In fact, he might have messed up here. He went for a uh, graveyard, which was really aggressive. If he spends too much elixir on defense, I actually might golem. We're gonna see what he does. So he failed the king. Okay, he just spent seven elixir. Um, we are definitely playing a golem in the back. Um, I know I might have actually been able to activate king, but first of all, it doesn't work a hundred percent of the time, and second of all, 
He just used seven elixir. I I mean, I think it's our it's the better option here to just try to um try to take advantage of him spending all that elixir and getting pretty much nothing out of it. So what we're gonna do is basically try to go in here and then get a nice NATO here. We might need to try yet yeah, to pull this ice wizard in. Spear goblins do end up dying inside of the NATO, I think. But you're going to see Goblin Hut, really, really nice um, counter to the Golem. So he defends that pretty much very, very easily. Um, and as I've already said, this is why this matchup is quite difficult. But we're going to take this slow. I don't think we can Golem now because he kind of fixed his cycle. He has enough Elixir, so it's not really a good time to Golem. What we need to do is wait for him to go in for a Graveyard before we Golem. We need to kind of take this slow. So we're going to be cycling cards in the back and just kind of waiting for an opportunity to um, to go in for a golem. And uh, I, I might honestly, I'm, I'm not even sure we can end up winning this one. We'll have to see. We just need to try to be patient. If I was able to hit the baby dragon with that lightning, that might have been really, really good. But unfortunately, we weren't able to, so... Yeah, this is looking very tough. Um, the, all the good golem players on ladder two usually lose versus graveyard. It's kind of the worst matchup, so no really shame losing this one. But um, let's see if we can somehow win. It's just... So he went actually really aggressive there. We got a really nice lightning. Um, this graveyard's going to get very, very little damage. So we kind of have that going for us. I think we it's kind of now or never that we golem. But I, I don't know. Let's see if it does much. We do have a nice... Um, never mind. I was going to say nice bar barrel and then the Dark Prince just connected. So actually wasn't really a nice bar barrel. Kind of a, a really bad um, bar barrel actually. Can we need that into the other lane? Guys, we just won! Woof! We, we won! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting to win that one. Um, as I already said, that's the toughest match for uh, for Golem. That's probably the about the hardest matchup you're going to get. The reason why it's so hard is because you don't have a ton of answers to the graveyard. They're Goblin Hut, and by the way... Goblin Hut's getting a nerf next season, so this Golem deck's probably going to be even better. I don't know about... You can probably use Arrows for the NATO, because there's a Golem Bomber NATO deck. You could probably, I I feel like, put NATOs in the deck, inst or Arrows in the deck instead of NATO. But yeah, really, really nice 12-1. I think my only loss earlier in this GC was actually to Graveyard. Um, so, on my recording screen on OBS, it says that... I've been recording 26 minutes. I know that's not true because I know at least 10 minutes we're searching. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a replay. I don't know which one would be the most beneficial to you guys, but I think maybe Eagleum, since it's very good in the meta, would be good to show you guys kind of how to beat. Um, so yeah, let's go for this Eagleum one. We're going to speed it up because I don't think we both, we, either one of us did anything in a single elixir. So I'll actually put it on four times speed. This is what you want to do every single matchup. Basically, you're not making the first move. You're basically waiting until double if your opponent doesn't do anything. Even if you don't have Golem in your starting hand, I want to make this very clear. If your starting hand is like Ice Wizard, Mini Pekka, Bar Barrel, Dark Prince, you're still not doing anything. Even if you don't have the Golem in rotation, you're still waiting. Very, very passive deck as I've already said. Um, so yeah, we both don't do anything, and you're gonna see the reason why this match is just so easy for me is because I have lightning for his for his E-Drag. Um, he when the E-Drag gets lightning, and then say there's other stuff next to the E-Drag, I, I just get so much value on it. Um, but yeah, you're gonna see here. We'll actually do two times speed. 
since we're both using heavy decks, we're, it's not like we're playing stuff constantly, but I need that E-Drag in so my tower hits it. Um, and then I actually go quite aggressive here because we got so much elixir from the blobs and he goes for a kite. We get a nice lightning off and yeah, it's just, he, he gets a nice king activation. I mean, this guy was definitely a good player. Like he was playing well. It's just, we have such a good matchup, so there's not really much he can do to defend. So yeah, I mean, you can see we pretty much just straight up rush him here after all that elixir we got from the elixir golems and he just wasn't able to defend. I mean, he makes the last effort to go for a uh, e-drag but we have a mini pekka down and yeah that's basically it wasn't too much he could do there to defend um now i guess i'll also show um a lava one because lava is really really popular in this meta um so i think this one would be good to show you guys as well um very very popular um lava deck basically the deck he's using except i think it has barbarrel instead of log but besides that it's the exact same so once again we're gonna speed this up not too much happening in um single elixir here we're both just kind of taking things kind of slow um but what really um i forget if this was the game where i caught a lot of his miners and that's kind of how i ended up winning it might have been this one or it might have been a different one yeah actually i think it was a different one um so the reason why i applied a lot of pressure there was because he didn't have a goblin hunt in rotation and i knew that he would have had to play barbs but he didn't even play them so yeah things were already looking really good for us and I just Golem in the back um, because I knew I was up a couple of Elixir and he didn't even have a Lava Hound in Cycle. So his Cycle was just kind of messed up and I knew it was a good time to Golem. But yeah, Barbs are great versus Golem. Um, you're going to see even with the Dark Prince down since he distracted the Miner, Dark Prince took took a good amount of time before it actually ended up killing the um, Barbs, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but heading into double here, we definitely had a good lead, but... Um, he decides to Lava Hound opposite lane and try to build up a push. So we'll slow things down here a little bit since we're in double now. Um, and yeah, you're just seeing we're basically going all in here because I knew he wasn't going to be able to defend this. And pretty much at this point, I knew we were going to three crown him. Um, I do I do be safe here. I You're going to see I NATO back the baby dragon and play an ice wizard, I think. The reason why I do this is just to make sure he doesn't take our tower in the given time so even if we didn't end up three crowning him he wouldn't have even taken the tower anyways you're about to see um well I, I guess he almost takes it right or does he take it oh we three crown him before he takes it okay so probably wasn't even worth defending there but you're gonna see uh you, you can see golem kind of um beats uh you know lava and golem are both beat down decks but golem kind of beats um most other beat down decks including elixir golem and lava which is why it's such a good deck. So yeah, those were the two replays I want to show you guys. And it says I've been recording now 30 minutes, so I'm going to assume that's 20 because I think about 10 of the minutes were spent searching. So yeah, that's going to be it. Um, make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let me know what decks you guys want me to play um, in, in GCs the rest of the season. Let me know if you want me to make another video on my mini account. I can do that as well. There's six days left of the season. Not sure if I'm going to do another ladder video on my mini account because I'm doing so well. Like I'm 60th right now with six days left. I'm doing really solid and I'm just a little bit, um, it's a little stressful to play top ladder, but if you guys do want, uh, replays of top ladder matches with commentary, I can do that. Like I'm perfectly fine doing that, but I know a lot of you guys don't like replays. They're really boring for you guys. Some of you, but some of you really enjoy them. But just kind of let me know if I'm fine to do really anything. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.